Hello Gemini, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your May monthly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angel, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you. Now this is going to take a look at the person that you were dealing with, are dealing with, or will be dealing with. There are feelings towards you. We have the justice energy, their intentions, the seven of wands, their actions and behaviors. We have the page of cups, your feelings towards them, the ace of wands, the challenge between the two of you. We have the empress. Your advice, we have the Nine of Cups. And the potential outcome, we have the Eight of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords as the general overall energy. All right, Gemini. So I definitely feel like the person that you're dealing with, I definitely feel like there's either been some kind of deception or self-sabotaging kind of behaviors in the past, okay? And whether it's like this person was sabotaging things or this person was like being deceptive about something to you in the past, I definitely feel like you're already aware of this, okay? I do feel like it kind of put you guys in a tough position in the connection, okay? What, like, tough position between the two of you, as well as with other people in your life. I definitely see this Empress energy here, and even here, you know, this, like, to me, sometimes I see the Nine of Cups as, like, heart of support. He's, like, surrounded by all these people. So this could be friends. This could be family. A feminine energy in particular, so I'm seeing, like, this is, could be, like, a mother or a daughter um, for some of you guys, but I definitely feel like there are... You know, I just put this, whatever this person did, it kind of made things very difficult. It made things difficult between the two of you as well as four people around you, okay? Um, it could have caused a lot of a drama, conflict, that kind of stuff here. Now, I do feel like you guys are trying to work through it here. You go right from the five to the six, which says, you know, maybe it's something you guys are trying to work through. I do feel like it's possible with that energy to kind of heal things here. There is a lot of love between the two of you. So I definitely feel like you guys trying to, like, you know what? I love you guys. I, mean, I love each other. So we're going to try to, uh, we're going to try to get past this. We're going to try to work through it, even though, you know, it's a little bit difficult. Now, this person's feelings here, we have the justice card. So I feel like they're wanting to be honest with you now moving forward. They're wanting to kind of make things right with you here. Wanting to kind of bring the connection back into balance and kind of earn back your trust is what that's feeling like. They have the seven of wands for their intention. I do like that. The seven of wands can be being a little bit defensive at times, um, but to me, it's also just a card of persistence. It's like, I'm not going to back down. I am not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying, you know, and that's very positive. I do feel like, especially for those of you where you do have your guard up towards this person now, you know, I feel like they're trying to kind of, you know, work on rebuilding the trust and work on getting you to be able to, you know, put your guard down again with them. So we have this page of cups here. You know, I feel like they could be being very fun or flirty, romantic, try to be a little silly, bring some lightness back into the connection. But I also feel like this can be an apology as well. So that is, could be their next actions towards you here. Now, the challenge, like I said, we have this Empress energy. Now, the Empress energy could be one that maybe you're seeing them with this being in the challenge position. It basically gives it that reverse meaning. So it could cause you to feel um, a little bit insecure about the connection uh, because of whatever's happened here between the two of you. It could cause you to kind of see them in a negative light with this Empress here in the reverse um, because of whatever their actions were. Or it could be other people. This could be representing a physical person. So this could be, like like I said, a feminine energy in your life. Maybe now your family you know, isn't really liking them because of whatever happened. There's something like that here for some of you guys. Just take it how it resonates. Um, so it's just creating more of a challenge. It's also hard to continue to grow and move forward um, after something like this happens, right? So I feel like that's what that Empress is representing. 
but I feel like you are wanting to, like you still feel very, you feel a very strong passion towards this person, a very strong connection towards this person. I definitely feel like you're wanting to and willing to give this another chance. So to me, it looks like we're like rekindling things here, a fresh, like a new start. Now your advice is the nine of cups. So one, you know, keeping in mind that the people around you, you know, they, it is, even if they're not doing it in the right way, it's coming from a loving place. You know, I feel like you do have a good support system around you, people around you who love you and who care. Okay. At the same time, the nine of cups can talk about making sure that you are, I don't want to say that, uh, emotion, focusing on being emotionally happy and content and satisfied within yourself um, and not relying on other people to do that. Okay. Cause if you are happy all on your own and you're in a good emotional place, then it's different than you want somebody in your life, but you don't need them in your life. Um, and that's a much healthier place to be where you want them. You want to be in, you know, want them there and you want to share your life with them and share their experiences, but it's different than that codependent, um, kind of desperate holding on to things, energy that aren't necessarily good for us. So spirit could be wanting you to focus on this energy, getting to this place within yourself. Then we have the eight of wands. You know, the eight of wands is a clearer direction. Things could be moving forward in a much better way, in a much better direction. Uh, the eight of wands can also just be a lot of back and forth communication. You guys could be talking things through, but I just feel like overall things are starting to improve between the two of you. And you're starting to see, you know, that this could be moving forward in a much healthier way now. So overall, I do think it looks really good, but I think spirit is asking you to kind of focus on your own healing and your own happiness as well. But that is what I have for you, Gemini. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and then I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, then thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.